yo, 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 yo. Uh, it's party time. Hello, anybody out there? Hey, what's going on? I can't really see who is on the Facebook one. Let me see if I can see it from my phone here. Ah, Dennis! Facebook user. Santos, what's going on, bro? So, man, I was stuck in traffic for like an hour. I had three cars in an accident in a row. It's freaking crazy. So I just got here. I ran in. I ripped open all these freaking boxes. There's all types of model cars just hanging out right now. What up, dude? I don't know who you are. It won't tell me, man. Look. Look, it just says Facebook user. Look at that. Uh, I think it's because I'm streaming this in three different areas. Facebook group, Facebook page, and YouTube. So trying to maximize... Ha uh... <laughs> ha, Santos. How you know, man? Oh, Ruth. Oh, Ruth. Uh... It's time, bro. It's It's time. It's here. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Don't show the wife you're watching this. Go to the restroom and close the door. Act like you're taking a poop. Close the door. <laughs> Roos, you're not ready for this, man. I just, I've got it opened up and it's just kind of laying on its side right now. Oh, man, that thing is a freaking beaut. It's going to go great with your 43 scale FT party, dude. It's on. <laughs> This is for sure an FD RX-7 party. No LS swaps. All rotary, baby. All rotary. You know, we'd probably do LS swaps here because it's convenient. You don't see Jade people in Japan doing LS swaps. You know why? Because they've got competent people doing rebuilds over there. They have plenty of shops to go to. They have a plethora of parts available. And they have the expertise. We've got some good shops here too. Don't get me wrong. You just got to find the right person, you know. And then it comes down to what? Three things, Roos. What? Do you, what are the three things to make your RX-7 last with a rotary engine? Question of the day. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give it. Let me just give it like 30 more seconds. All right, there's about like 24 people watching right now. Um, so here's what we got, just an introduction. We've got Evo X's, just wait for it. Wait, wait, Evo X's, wait. Razor Whip, what's going on, buddy? It looks like you're my first YouTube. <laughs> well, that's not good for it either. You gotta drive it. You gotta get those seals nice and lubed up. Okay, my, my, what I think, what I think, rebuild, tuner, owner. So rebuilder, you got to find someone that knows what they're doing. They know about the clearances. They know which parts to use. Tuner, they got to tune that thing right. And then owner, the owner needs to be able to know how to take care of all this stuff. That's my recipe for success. And I guess I'll have to prove it later. Okay, so if you can hear me good, we're good. We got Razor Whip in the house. What's up, buddy? We have uh, Santos here looking for some Supras. Uh, we got Gabe here. What's up, buddy? Okay, so let's, let's start off. Okay, let's start off with this... Uh, this is the only ignition model 64 scale. Uh, yes, premix 
Yes. That's part of the owner part, right? Is the owner pre-mixing? Is he doing it right? Does he know how much to do? Uh, right here, guys. We're going to start with this ignition model. A lot of you guys have waited for this. This is probably... All right. Personally, I mean, I'm not a fan of the RWB. Yes, I want that Auto Art NSX as well. I did a video on it, and the best thing we can do, man, is just find someone overseas that can buy it for us and ship it over, you know? Right here, guys. Look, check it out. I'm going to blow this up. Here we go. Boom. Right there. Look at that beautiful little work of art. Second release, ignition model, resin, half-cut rear bumper. Guys, Ignition model is not playing around anymore. Uh, they're taking the resins to a whole new level. They've changed this uh, so that the base is actually acrylic. Still has got the gold plaque here, but the base, they changed it to acrylic. They used to have the all leather base. I don't know why they changed it. Uh, maybe the acrylic looks cooler, which it, it, it does. I like how it's, you see how on the, I don't know if you can see it, Larry, right there. You see how it's like bolted down on four spots? You see it there? You see it on the other, it's on the other side too? Yes, Andrew, what's up, brother? Yeah, man. We got to just wait. You know, a lot of people, well, you know, a lot of the new guys, right, that are not used to it, always messaging me always emailing me hey man where's my model come in i'm like dude it says fall 2021 so we got the rest of the year we gotta just wait buddy so guys what do you guys think about this one this thing's pretty epic uh pfft. apple livery half cut rear look at that right there look at this look at that this thing is a work of art Well, the reason why it's it's $100, uh, I could try to explain. Resin models, all right? Super limited. There's probably only a couple of hundred of these in the world. Ignition model is not going to tell you that because ignition model only makes it based on demand. So if, let's say I was the only one selling ignition model in, in, in the U.S. and I ordered 50, there's only going to be 50. There's only going to be 50 here. Richard, perfect. All right, next is going to be the detail and all the photo etch stuff with the resin. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it is next level. All right, you see this stuff in the back right there? You can't tell in this video, but if you were to take this out and look at it close up, and you know, I'll do a review video eventually, but impossible to do with a die cast, okay? And then not only that, so limited, you got the you got the details, and then you've got this gold plaque here, which just gives it that extra coolness factor. At the end of the day, that's really what you're paying for. And then ignition model, everything's licensed, everything's legit. Uh, be careful out there with these no-name knockoff brands that are just making stuff for the hell of it. Because all they're trying to do is take money out of your pocket, save up, get the good stuff. Uh, you know, don't just buy for the sake of buying, guys. Buy from brands that are legit. I've been trying to preach that a lot. Okay, so ignition model. Here we go. We good? Do I have any extras of these? I don't know. Charles, no. Look, right here, dude. Not for kids not for children these are for 14 and up 14 and up buddy well maybe he's 14 how old is that boy 14 richard got their 206 awesome Bruce, detail is unmatched even the dude that's people don't know people don't know people like this guy paul he's a hot wheels guy he would have loved that uh, Falcon one that was broken, <laughs> thinking it was an error. <laughs> hey, by the way, that post stirred some stuff up. Look, from now on, when you when I send you guys a model and it comes all undone, I'm just going to say it's an error. It's rare. Keep it. 
guys, come on, stop. If this model broke off, if the body broke off and it's bouncing around, the spoiler breaks at the four different pieces, you, you're not going to keep it as an error. Come on, man. Let's be real. All right, next. Who's next? Who's ready for some Hobby Japan? We've been waiting for Hobby Japan for a long time. Uh, it's finally here. You can see some of the Hobby Japan I've got. Uh, a couple of things I do have left over in stock. It's going to be like this ARC-7. How many I got left? I got five of those left. And then I got the white one. Two left on that. And then seven of the gray, the titanium gray. Those are cool because it comes with this little engine and on the pallet like that. It's awesome. Now, Time Micro, they've been making stuff. Paul, you, you Paul, Bruce, we're in the right place today, buddy. Okay, so let's go to Hobby Japan. Like I said, all this stuff is mostly sold out. Uh, it was my very first order with Hobby Japan. So, you know, let's... We, we can keep the momentum going and I'll post whatever new pre-orders they tell me. Uh, here we go. Very first one for me. This is the, let's see how that looks here. S2000, uh, AP1 type. It's got the hard top. It's got the little cover for the, uh, it's got the little cover for after you put the uh, uh, top down. This one's pretty cool. Grand Prix White GPW 64 scale Hobby Japan. All right, this is that. This is uh, not a new release. This has actually been out. But again, I was just giving people an opportunity to be able to get this stuff. So Hobby Japan, uh, officially licensed products, legit goods. Don't be buying brands that have uh, jar not nonsense jargon. They won't have this on the back. I promise you, they they won't have this They're right there. See that? <laughs> okay ap1 s2k whoever pre-ordered that good for you uh next let's go to more hondas we've got the nsx na1 here uh type r this one also this one's cool because why why is it cool look right there you see it it's got the engine na1 guys what engine size is that it's the c30 it's the 3.0 na2 is the 3.2 it's got nothing to do with pop-up headlights and, and, and static headlights. All right. That's the difference between NA1 and NA2. Some people, those people get that confused. All right. It's got the pallet and engine. Ah, oh, good. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hobby Japan, man. They did? Oh, I'm going to have to look into that. RX-7s. It's coming. It's coming. All right. So Honda NSX. These are all sold out. Uh, that's it. Here they were right here. All right. You get the little engine and everything. Man, this is sweet. Look at this, dude. Look at this, Look at this stuff, man. This stuff is fire. All right. All gone. But wanted to show you. <laughs> At least show you. Here's another one. Ready? NSX Red. Formula Red NSX. What? This is NA1. It's got the engine and the, and the pallet as well. So this one looks sweet, all sold out, but hey, I'm just showing you we can get this stuff, all right? Kevin, what's up, buddy? Yeah, get that guy. Get that guy in here. All right, NSX, S2000. What's next? What's next? MK3, guys. Where are my super MK3 guys? Finally, something for you guys. Um... Okay, we could do a little story time here if you want to see. Let's see here. Instagram. How do I do this? Go through here. Let's see. Let's see. Santos maybe doesn't know. Maybe he does. But uh, where is this? I promise you it's here. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Wow, I have a lot of pictures on here. Jesus. Uh, okay, here we go. Here is look, Santos. It's my MK3, bro. Santos, my MK3. I sold it though. Uh, man, this thing was nice. Look, RPFs, poor man's wheels. Yeah, get the. 
<laughs> it's the meat and potatoes right here. My old MK3. Hey, that thing was clean. I love that damn thing. Look, check it out. Look, Santos, what do you think? Of course. I'm not messing with no 7M. Look, see? I'm part of that fam, man. That thing is nice. It was clean. I don't know where it is now, but... Anyway, just a fun fact history. That was a long time ago, man. That was whatever 280 weeks ago it was. Back in 2016, maybe. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Back to this. Okay. MK3, folks. Here we go. Super white. MK3 Supra. Whoever pre-ordered that. Man, this this is going to look awesome with the wheel swap, I think. This, this for sure is going to look awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, super red. <laughs> this one is kind of funny because it's got some funky looking wheels. Y'all see those? So this one's going to look really nice with the wheel swap. And also notice on this one that the uh, headlights are popped. You see it right here? Popped up headlights. Look at that. Well, I guess you can't see it right there. you go. It's got that nice little base there. The rear, this is going to be late model MK3s, right? Because of those tail lights. It's going to be you know, 80 and 89 up. 89 up. A70, baby. And lastly, we got the black one here. This one has the uh, Turbo R wheels, Turbo R setup. <laughs> Come on, man. Rotana IG model? Yes. Static fitment. I do have one of those in stock. You can actually see it right here on the screen. Here we go. Boom. I got three more of those left, buddy. So static fitment, if you want some of this bad boy, if you can handle it, go and get it. This is the first release, all right? First release of the uh, resin RWBs. The second one is the Apple one that I just showed earlier. Uh, I don't even know if it's on here. Let's see. Yep, here it is. If I have extras, which I do, look at that. I've got three extras. You can go for the Apple one if you want or get both. I won't stop you. Where's Jesse? Jesse Bretz. Maybe he owes me money. That's why he's not here. Uh, let's go back here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 So MK3s. We good on MK3s? Those are here. Those look fantastic. We've had the um, the NSXs. Those were looking awesome. Uh, the S2000. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's that RWB Apple just came in with the half cut rear end here look at that check that out okay so now what do we got to do now now we got to show off the fds so the fds are ones that i do have in stock of okay so there's a couple more left of the red one here's the red vintage red um this is the uh, rs type model with the engine and the pallet now notice that the engine actually also has the transmission too okay it's a complete swap so there's that. Don't mind Brandon. He just he likes to talk a lot of mess. Still waiting on his payment. <laughs> Here's the white version, Spirit R Type A. All licensed. I like that this one has the pop-up headlights, red interior like that. Uh, engine and, and pallet. That bad boy. Man, that looks good. Look at that. Whew. Come on, guys. Oh, can't see nothing. Look at that. All right, and lastly, we've got the other Spirit R. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a titanium gray version. Same setup. Wheel swap on this. Man, it'll look really nice. Uh, all right. When did the AE86 pop for pre-orders? Uh, it's been on there, man. I put these all up a long time ago, but you can get it if you want. Paul, it's right here. You know, I got this one left with the little engine. It's gonna come in this cool case too, man. It looks pretty sweet, I think. Uh, in any case, you can get it. How many are left? I got seven more of those. 
a couple of SDKs. Those are the last, what, six left. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I mean, that's the factory wheels, right? Aren't these the factory spirit art wheels? Pretty sure they are, so they didn't do anything wrong. But that's why, that's why wheel swaps exist. Uh, and I have some wheel swaps available. I mean, that's just the wheels they are, you know? See? Check it out, bruh. Same wheels. That's just the way they come. That's actually true to what they are. So that's what I like about this thing, you know? We good. Factory wheel. Roost! Back me up, Roost! Uh, are you going to have any extras of Hobby Japan NSX? No, sir. Those are all gone. Sorry, man. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, okay. That's it for Hobby Japan. There are a lot of other Hobby Japan stuff coming soon, as you can see here. So just wait. Let's just wait for it patiently. They'll eventually come. Uh, wow, all this stuff is gone. Jesus Christ. But at least some of it has finally arrived. So I will start to ship these out this week. Uh, now what I'm going to transition to is some of the Makeup Co. stuff. The Idolon. Idolon. I don't know what, how to pronounce it. I'll find out later. But these are pre-ordered items that I just want to show you guys because when it comes to this brand, I feel like it's very high quality. It's very uh, sophisticated looking. The presentation is just super professional. And I, I just, this brand is just, it has a special place for me. I feel like they specialize in a lot of JDM stuff, a lot of exotics. And uh, just some of the stuff that they have uh, is just amazing. Um, super limited stuff. Uh, I'm talking about like less than 100 type type items. Sometimes only like 12, 25. Uh, but these are some that my customers ordered. What's actually really cool is you get to see a prototype of probably one of the first models that have come out for, for that make and model. So let's just show. Hopefully he's not watching. Tony, don't, Tony, don't yell at me. I'm going to open one of yours. Dude, makeup is just, this is insanity stuff. I know, I know people don't know about it, but, and they're very pricey, but with price comes quality, okay? So this is, and somebody needs to help me out with some of this stuff, because I'm not too familiar with it. All right, this is the Audi R8. I want to say this is like a, a GT version, obviously, but guys, this is like a no joke, like, I'm just holding on to it, shaking, because <laughs> I don't want to drop it. But really, the uh, this thing here is just, the detail is crazy. Kevin knows about it. He has one, or, or maybe a couple, I don't remember. But look at this guy. This is a real, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a real car. Um, let's see here, R8 LMS GT. Uh, now, makeup likes to specialize in uh, 43 scale. Okay. This is the Good Word Festival of Speed Edition. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys the uh, one of one version. Here it is. There's the one of one right there. See it here, right there. That's the one of one. Here's the 43 scale version. And one of the thing, what makeups tries to do is they try to strive for literally a replica, like down to the little details. I'm talking about decals. If it had a scratch on the bumper that everybody knew about, they would put the scratch on it. Okay, this is crazy stuff right here. Crazy. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's got this nice little plaque here. Uh, it comes with this acrylic base, and then obviously it's going to have this uh, acrylic case with it as well. So I'm kind of curious on this one. It comes you with the, I mean, it even comes with this little bad boy here. It's like a little thank you card. It's crazy. This stuff is crazy. Okay, so we got that. Oh, 
here's the box tells you right there everything you need to know about that car so guys beautiful absolutely beautiful model i would highly recommend uh, that some of you guys look into makeup if you're if if you're willing to upgrade your collection okay this is for the hardcore people uh not for the guys that's just getting into it this might be a little bit too much um i mean but if you can do it go for it but here's one i actually have one extra of these for sale i don't know why i just got an extra one i felt like somebody might have liked it so i did so one extra of those available um i'll probably put it on the website but there you go it comes like that in this little box hard hard case box okay not no dinky rinky dink box close it up like that okay all right so that is one uh the next one i want to show and maybe uh, <laughs> it's rx7 time again boys and gals this thing is crazy crazy well i guess not an rx7 but okay so look at this one this one is okay let me just let me reset that let me rewind let's rewind okay it comes like this it comes with this nice cloth and guys i don't know if you know but this this cloth it's used for cleaning your models okay you can clean it wipe it it's like a it's like kind of like a microfiber cloth okay so this one i'm gonna have to put it upside down just to show you guys okay this is crazy this one's really crazy this is a mazda speed okay this was pre-ordered i pre-ordered this for somebody because they wanted it but uh this is the mazda speed mxr01 um swz silverstone 1992 it's the number five car and it placed second in its event category but you can see and they even covered that spoiler up just to protect it this stuff is crazy resin super limited super highly detailed super highly detailed these are pro these are in the uh they're i'm gonna say they're in the high 200 range don't forget but they're, they're up there guys so no joke i'm gonna put this back carefully because it does belong to somebody i don't want to take it out of its packaging or anything okay so that was just a taste uh and last thing i want to show you guys from that last item is this awesome little tidbit uh this is probably one of the first models or companies to make this model it is the one and only z prototype here it is this thing is super accurate i'm talking about super accurate look at that jesus it's the z fair lady z what are they calling it 400 z maybe super sold out no not a 787b bud yes i'm telling you and i don't <laughs> i don't pay kevin he pays me all right so this is the z prototype i got I might have an extra one of these if uh, we have any Nissan fans. However, I did pre-order one for a client. Delicious TV. Hello, hello. Welcome. Let me put that back, guys. So that's what I have from makeup. Pretty amazing stuff. And for the grand finale. Who's ready for the grand finale? Who's ready for the grand finale? Where's makeup at? Let's see what we got here. Makeup. Ooh, that's the 18 scale. That this one is the 18 scale, guys. I don't think anybody got one. That's the Le Mans car. There it is, right there. That's the one that I just showed. Somebody got one of these LFAs as well. I'll be shipping that out. So makeup co, pretty crazy. Okay, you're getting pretty crazy, but just the way they present itself is insane. Insane. Yes, I will bring some, don't worry. Uh, that 400Z, I think it's like 300 bucks. 
Okay, let's go on to the grand finale. Uh, if you're a Mazda RX-7 fan, you're probably going to be loving these. Uh, I obviously do. So here we go. I'm going to slide over and pick it out. Oof, man, these are big. <laughs> They're heavy. No, not really. They're resins. Okay, here we go. Feed. Feed RX-7. Okay, feed Man, I love these. God, Lee, these are crazy. This is this is going into my collection, so it's okay that I hold it. I could even open it, I guess. But let's just show it right here. Look at it. 18 scale resin Mazda RX-7 feed variant. Uh, this is just a white rendition. You can see some of the detail here on the front. Guys, absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i have two extras the rest are pre-ordered already but i have two extras for anyone that's interested uh but man this looks beautiful love the wheels the canard the wing front bumper lift carbon accents i love the uh titanium exhaust you see it right there boom man this looks absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous and then next we have the ever famous this is probably the one everybody knows this is the gray variant um this is the one that's uh, featured on all the hot version shows episodes uh that also has a hot version logo right here you see it oh roost you got one of these, right, Bruce? But here we go. Look at that. Oh, golly. Okay, so what's cool about this is it has the hot version logo on the hood. It's got the uh, the, the toge map as well on the hood. So this is super official. Man, the detail is crazy. Crazy. Which one says sold out? Which one says sold out? So the gray one, I have three more of those left if you're interested. Here it is. Same guy here. Three more left. Uh, white one. Two more left. Okay. Those are two. And then this last one, uh, it's not a pre-order for anybody. It's for my own collection because nobody pre-ordered it. I don't know why. Well, it's kind of an oddball, but here you go. Just for show and tell, I guess. The RE variants FD. Uh, this guy here, an 18 scale. Uh, uh, we've kind of seen it in a 64 scale, but it's kind of like that lime green light version. But here you go. Look at that. Mm. Any RE fans? There you go. Rear end. It's got that little exhaust. 99 spec head tail lights the wing man this one looks beautiful yeah this is for my collection but uh sorry guys no pre-orders on this but that's it that's all we have for today questions comments let's talk let's chit chat what's up What's going on in the model car world? Man, that thing is beautiful. Whew. I'll take it. I'd jump on that REA green. Yeah, well, <laughs> should have done it, man. It's, no, I mean, it's here on the website. Should have been. There it is. Nobody bought any, man. Man, that thing was beautiful, too. Look at that. Oof. Oof. What happened, fam? So let's see, let's see, let's see. If, if, if. Nah, sold out. Sold out, dude. The REA is sold out. Ignition model is sold out. We're done. They are discontinued.
64 scale IG resins, um, spring 2022. We're, they're done for the rest of the year. I don't think there's any other resins coming out that are 64 scale. Maybe a couple of those R34s. Uh, the Tokyo Auto Salon version. And the silver Z-Tune version, maybe. Try to think what was the first ones that they came out with. Um, hey, this bluish white's nice too, but I don't know if anybody pre-ordered it. I hope they did. But the main one that I think everyone should, the blue, right? You got to get the blue. I mean, I've got all these for my own collection, but I don't know about you guys. Where is the white feed one in the white advance releasing? Ooh. That one is going to be releasing. Let's see. Fall 2021, but... You know. Yeah, it's either going to be later in the year or it will be the beginning of next year. I think it'll be the, at the end of the year, though. Yeah, it's got the uh, TE37s. TE37s. Not that one. You're talking about the 18 scale, right? Where is it? There she is. Yep, there she is. All right, guys. I am going to start doing pre-orders and packing tomorrow. Obviously, I'm doing this video feed, so I've kind of killed all the time for me doing packing slips and things like that. But, however, if you are still here, check out the website, check out the YouTube channel, check out the pre-order page. Plenty of stuff to look at to try and stay up to date with this stuff, guys. Uh, let's go here. Pre-order page time. Pre-order page. Pre-order page. Here we go. Oh, look, it's live right there. Yeah, Sid, you need to step it up. Stop buying broken models, bro. If you're, if anyone's interested in these, I got some. My cat, all right, buddy, we got you. Done. Done and done. Uh, these figures are going to be closing soon, so if anyone's interested in that. Ah, uh, sorry, Saul. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Carlito got both of them. Will I be getting any more 64 scale figures? Currently, Skeleton Man diecast. I have figures here. Alrighty, I've got figures here. Uh, however, that's for you, buddy. However, I have a ton of leftover figures. The issue is that it's a pain in the butt to post all of those individually one by one. You know, it's like, I wish I could just, here's all the pics, pick out what you want and be done with it. I don't want to spend time posting it on the website, if you know what I mean. It's a lot of time for a lot. It's a lot of effort for just trying to sell one figure that costs 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, these are leftovers. But Skeleton Man, I have a ton. Okay, what else? What else we got going on here? If you're, if you, whew, this new Civic guys just dropped. Uh, that's the the four door Civic. It's yellow. It's not a spoon Civic. It's just yellow, but they give you the spoon decals. Okay, that's what this means. So just to clarify that, those are on the website. Pre-orders are open right now. They are going for twenty one ninety nine. $21.99, not to do bad. I've got stuff shipped out here. Uh, if anyone is interested in these lathes, I've got some of this bad boy. I've got some extras of those. Those I might, not sure yet. Yes, I will let you know. Boris, Boris. 
Okay, so let's talk about this FD2 here. Freaking beautiful, right? Freaking beautiful. This thing is insane. Insane. Anybody notice that this little rod was broken? Anybody notice that? Huh? Kevin, did you notice? That's an error! <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, so I am trying to finalize this order with one model. I might be able to get three more extra. Might. That's a big maybe, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a bad mother. Okay, this one is... This is the stuff right here that makes this hobby worthwhile. Three more extra of the 18 scale, this FD2 Spoon Sports. The one that I've got up on the screen here. I might get three more extra. I might. I'm trying. But those guys, they won't freaking respond to me, man. They won't respond. All right, so I will update everybody on that if it happens. Oh, Dennis. Dennis, did y'all buy these Subarus? Oh, there's one more left. This is an awesome, guys, this is a really awesome model. It's super clean. Uh, they definitely outdid themselves on that one. Fuel Me is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to resin 64 scale, for sure. For sure. Uh, let's see what we got for last one left. Okay, some of these are gone already. Got a few more. This Oba Bone, I don't know. Somebody needs to buy this. This thing is a beauty. I'll just gonna take it. I'll take it to the next event, I guess. Try and sell it there. All right, guys, so I hope you had fun. I think I have a lot of these, but some of the ones you have been sold out already. Yeah, once it figures, the way figures work is they only do a one-time run. Once they're sold out, that's the end of them. That's how that works with the figures. Displays, yep, a lot of the displays are sold out already as well because those are pretty popular. Um... Sorry, man. You got to get Skeleton Man. You got to join the pre-order page, which is right here. Join that page. That's how you stay up to date with all the new drops. That's how all these guys in this channel or chat know that I have stuff available. They'll see it there first. Okay, guys. We good? Thank you for joining. And I will see you on the next unboxing which will probably be the error 404 and the ym model stuff uh that's actually going to be coming in this week so uh ym model let me see what let me just show you guys a sneak peek here ym model this stuff uh some of these 350z's right here those are coming in uh a lot of the other stuff isn't on here because this was a long time ago, but uh, these are going to be dropping. So if you're a 350Z fan, I've got some of these bad boys. Finally! First time I've seen a 350Z model car, to be honest. Okay, guys, thank you. Have a good night, and I will be doing some packages starting tomorrow. If you have any questions, message the page, okay? Later! <laughs>